Showers overnight were enough to wake some people up out of bed. Yeah, I mean, a couple times right. I got up. The thunder was very loud. We're also keeping track of those storms for you on the roadways. Lindsay Shively joins us live via Skype. Lindsay. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, the streets are definitely wet. That thunder uh, woke me up out of bed this morning for sure. This is really nerve-wracking for people that are in those uh, towns along the river, up the Northland especially. Parkville has been sandbagging. Riverside has been watching rain very carefully because uh, the river is so close to coming out of its banks. They're worried about flooding anyway. Rain is the last thing anybody needs. But the good news is, I've been talking about this morning, uh, this rain was nothing that is going to cause any kind of flash flooding or anything like that. We would have needed about four times as much uh, back in 1993. Brett and I were talking about how they received inches and inches of rain in a very short time period. This rain wasn't enough, and it doesn't look like there's any big rains coming in our future. So it's not like any impending flooding is going to be increased from the storms that pass through. You know, Parkville is where we're headed, and they had to move their River Jam Festival last year because English Landing Park was already underwater. They moved it again this year. There's no water in the park so far that we've heard. But, again, uh, Parkville and their flooding problems continuing to be an issue this year. But they're still going to go on and have that River Jam. We're going to bring you more on that coming up at 5. We're live. Lindsay Shively, NBC Action News today. All right, Lindsay, thank you.